I am making a procedure generated tower defense survival game and this is what I have done this week. So I started with working on a storage system, a system to save the game state. So there are multiple ways to do this, I chose to save the data in each chunk. This was a very simple way for me at least to do it, so I just save all the positions and transforms of the resources and mobs in the current chunk and then I load it back in. And this took me two whole days. <laughs> there were many bugs, many frustrating thing happens. For example, this, which I couldn't wrap my head around, but I eventually fixed it. And then I moved on to the next thing. Infinite world. So I added infinite world generation, which is very cool. I'm very excited about it. Right now, the world isn't super interesting to explore, but later I would add biomes and such. And I would really love suggestions on biomes you would like as well as creatures that can live in these biomes even though it might be some more time before i add these biomes i would really like the suggestions so i can get some good ideas so leave that in the comments and while you're there leave a like and subscribe i would really appreciate it help me with the youtube algorithm next up ai so i added some passive ai and some aggressive ai right now they're super simple the passive ai just wanders around forever even if it gets hit just gonna continue to wander around and then they have the aggressive AI who when you come in a certain range of him he gets aggressive and shards and these are the cows and the slimes currently these are overworld AI they will spawn in the world naturally they're not like skeletons for example who will attack you at night specifically so that's basically everything I had to say about the AI I'm pretty happy with it for now I like the models they look very clean and nice a little bit low poly maybe the cow needs an update layer but i like it for now so i have also updated the inventory ui and the building ui a bit so there's updated icons that dynamically change they become red if you don't have enough of the current material you need which is good i will also add a title and a description to every item you hover which will make it even more clear on what the item is and uh, yeah so many of the icons are of course placeholder and will be changed out later and also thank you for the support on the last video i really appreciate it and i got some really cool comments like this one for example by buff turtle i want to see more really cool suggestions and ideas like this either in the comments or on the discord for more tools biomes and creatures and thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day and i hope i'll see you in the next one